my name is Tony Hutchinson and I work for Reality Solutions. What we're going to cover today is how to create a sales invoice receipt. So your customer has paid you some money and you need to allocate it on the account. So this is a nice, quick and short demonstration. So what I've got is I've received £400 from one of my customers, which is that one there. Now what I'm going to do is just click on receipt. I can receipt the money. I'm going to show you two ways. I'm going to show you a receipt where you can save and allocate at the same time or where you just save it and allocate it afterwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in there <coughs> the paid £400 and I'm going to click save and allocate. What it's doing at the moment is picking up the relevant current account which is the one I have it set to. Of course if it's getting paid into a different account you'd select that different one. If you have any references put those in and of course the date you received the payment. So what I'm going to do is click on save and allocate. And what it's going to do is save that transaction and it'll say right what would you like to pay it against? What I can do here I can click auto allocate at the top and that will automatically allocate those two figures. What we could actually do is if we just zero those out we could do those manually. Now you can see here we've got £400 that needs to be allocated. I can put in there I'm paying off £100 and in there I'm paying off the £300. So long as that balance is to zero at the end and your difference is zero, you'll be okay for that. And what we can do is now click save. That will close that window down. I just close this down and I refresh my screen. You can see that balance is now zero. If we go into the uh, transaction list of that account, that should now be completely blank with no transactions left. So you can see there, no transactions. If I untick that, you can see there, I've got my receipt for £400. So that's where you can allocate at the same time as posting the receipt. What we're going to do now is I'm going to clear this account off here, £5,522, but I'm going to just put the receipt on, I'm going to allocate it afterwards because I may have a batch of these that I want, may, may want to do 10 at a time, put them all on system and then allocate them afterwards. So I'm just going to click receipt again. And again, I've got the same bank account. The check value is going to be 5522. But actually, they're not going to pay the full amount. They're only paying 4000 because we're going to do a part allocation as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to click save and allocate this time. I'm just going to click save and I click close. When I refresh my list, the balance will drop, but it's not allocated against the account yet. So what I can do on the side here, I've got an option called allocation. I can click on there and I can select my customer, which is SGMM. And I can see there, I've got my amount there of my £4,000. Again, I can click auto allocate and that will auto allocate whatever it thinks it needs to pay. <clears throat> now in this case is outstanding 2000, it's paid the whole amount there, it's paid all of the 1782 and as we get further down you'll see it's not paid some of this, it's just part paid £188 against that 360. So that will leave that invoice as partially outstanding which is absolutely fine because I've not paid the full amount. And at this case I can now, because my difference again is zero, I can now click save <clears throat> and that has saved that transaction. Click close. If I now refresh my list, the balance is still the same, but if I now go into my transactions, and we can see there we have a few invoices that are still outstanding. We've got a part payment there, and it tells you it's part payment because it says so. You've got value of 360 and allocated of 188 pound. So of course, next time you go in, you'll need to allocate the rest. If I click show transactions, you see my 4,000 payment there. That is a very straightforward way of allocating receipts against your sales ledger accounts. Thank you for listening and if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our support team. We'll be able to help you. Thank you. Bye bye.